don't know how to do this to get like a, oh there ah ah woo, 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 woo. Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, Forty. So today, I'm not in the kitchen, and you're probably thinking to yourself, why aren't you in the kitchen? Barefoot, pregnant. Hey, because of biology. But anyway, so I'm here on the couch in my living room, and you see I have a device right here. Well, it's what we're getting into today, huh? So my girl tells me yesterday, she says, hey, your arm's getting a bit hairy, right? The tattoo's not looking as good as they normally look, so why don't you shave them for your videos, right? I said, you know what? You're right, let's do it, right? And when I say let's, I meant me. Anyway, so she says, but wait, I have an idea for your viewers, right? For their pleasure. And I'm intrigued because I'm happy that she cares about you guys, the channel. I said, what is it? My love, tell me, right? And she says, well, why don't you wax your arms? Because they'll laugh, enjoy it, and you'll be in pain. So I'll enjoy it. I'm like, uh, wh what? Wait, wait a second. Anyway, so here we are, right? <laughs> we have her waxing machine, right? And these things, it basically, it takes these little wax beads, right? You put them into this tiny little, I don't know, double boiler, if you will. There's no water underneath, but there's this little tin or metal uh, cont uh, bucket that comes out, but you, this is what you put it in. You put it in and it heats up and it creates a nice wax. I've got some tongue depressors here. This is what we'll use to apply and then bah, we rip it off, right? But as we're waiting for this to heat up, and by the way, this is already take three. <laughs> So, because I have a bunch of facts that I wanted to share with you that I haven't memorized. So as I'm sitting here, we're, we're on joint number two. I'm gonna be so blazed, I'm not gonna be able to tell you guys anything. And we're not gonna wax shit. <laughs> anyway, so. I don't know if you guys know, because I fucking didn't know, right? Back in the day, when I say back in the day, way, way, way back in the Stone Age times, right? With Neanderthals, right? Not the mama, not the mama, not the mama. Excuse me, I was getting a bit parched, right? So anyway, back in the day, Neanderthal days, those fools who used to drag their women by the hair, right? Doesn't seem convenient. Why didn't they put them in a barrel, a wheelbarrow, right? Seems like it would be easier to carry them because I'm pretty sure some of them were not light, right? I'm not taking a knock at anybody. I'm just saying pulling a woman on the ground by their hair, it just doesn't seem efficient. Anyway, so these guys and gals of the time, they used to remove their hair. This is the beginning of hair removal as far as science is concerned. And they've decided that the reason that Neanderthal or the people in the Stone Age would remove their hair was for safety reasons, right? Because if there was hair on their face or on their head in a battle of sorts with another Neanderthal, what could happen is they could grab onto that shit and it would add danger to them, right? It would give them not the upper hand in battle. So they started removing their hair. Also, more importantly, when it was really cold or they were in an area where it was really cold, they would do it because the reality is by having the hair, if moisture got caught between the hair and the skin or on the skin, then that could freeze and then you have a higher probability of getting hypothermia, right? Nobody wants that. I fucking hate the cold, right? I'm sweating right now. The lights are on. I had the heater on. This was a mistake. I already know this was a mistake. Anyway, let's move on. So fast forward from the Stone Age times and then you reach... The, the, the times of Egypt, right? Pubic hair, for example, was a sign of a lower class, of being unclean. To be honest, I don't know if this thought has totally left all our minds to this day. <laughs> I'm not sharing a preference, or am I? Anyway, so, uh, so in Egypt, this is where sugaring actually started, right? A mixture of sugar, water, and lemon juice made a paste that they could apply and then remove hair. They also use pumice stones and uh, seashells and things like that. It does not sound pleasant at all. I'm going to get off easy, it sounds like, right? I don't think I want to do a video of like the old school methods. <laughs> Anyways, fast forward from Egypt, which happened thousands of years after the Neanderthals or the Stone Age, and now we're moving into the Roman times. So in the Roman era, in the Roman time, right? The, the people with more money, right, the upper class, they used tweezers, different type of cutting devices, also pumice stones, etc., to remove hair. It was a sign of class and wealth. So the people who had less hair, I mean, I would probably be considered a beggar, right? Because I'm half Middle Eastern, I grow hair like, first of all, 
at a very young age. When I was three, right, my first mustache. It's almost like it was a kid, like a Lego, right? Your first mustache. Age three to all ages of Middle Easterns. If you're Middle Eastern, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so it wasn't just a sign of class. The, the pubic area, keeping it bare for women during the Roman times, was a sign of purity, right? If you had a massive bush, you were impure. I kind of still think that's true. But anyways, let's move on. So moving on, we get to the east, right? So India, Iran, places like this, they introduced threading. Threading is the process of combining two threads, twisting them together, and it removes the hair. I've never had it done, but I've seen it. Um, and they did this because the women, uh, I assume, had, had uh, big mustaches, unibrows, sideburns, hair on their face, etc., and they wanted to get rid of it, right? I don't know all the motivations for this particular error, but I assume just to look more pure, clean, I don't know, probably it was consistent for a while, and maybe even now, I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's fast forward to the uh, Queen Elizabeth era. So during the Queen Elizabeth era, you know, Queen Elizabeth wanted a high forehead, right? She popularized this, and so what they did is I believe they mixed ammonia with uh, something else, blah, 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 and they used this to suppress hair growth, not just on the forehead, but eyebrows, etc., to make it as hair-free as possible, and then have a massive forehead. Right now, a few people watching this video are probably thinking, shit, if I was born back then, this would have been okay. Now me, this big forehead is because I keep losing more hair and hair. I look for that shit, you know? I can't find it. Anyway, I wish it would all fall out at the same time though, right? Because uh, <laughs> it is irritating just to bald, bald, just all fall out, who cares? I'm fine being bald. I've shaved my head since I was 14 years old and I prefer it that way. Way easier to shower, to get ready. So why not? So moving on, fast forwarding quite a bit. Uh, in the 17 and 1800s, uh, people started to use razor blades, right? And so this was the introduction of the razor blade and that continued going forward. It wasn't until, I believe in the 1950s or 60s or something, somewhere around then when they said, you know what, let's start doing a bikini wax, right? which paved the way for waxing, period, because they were trying to look good in bikinis. I think it started in Europe, in France, etc. So during the World War II, this stuff was then uh, spread out even more, and more people found out about it. Next thing you know, more people were waxing. People were using laser hair removal, I believe in the 60s, 70s it started, uh, with all this technology moving forward and people saying, let's get rid of hair. I don't think hair is a bad thing. Oh, and I, why am I telling you my opinion? My opinion is like uh, an asshole. Everybody has one, right? But uh, so uh, obviously hair, I don't think is a problem. You don't have to wax. You don't have to shave your head. If you have a unibrow and you have a mustache and a beautiful beard and you're a woman, I mean, it is what it is. If you, you're you cool with it and you like it, do, do what you like. Do what you feel good about, right? I mean... Uh, I'm not shaving because someone looks at me funny or, or doesn't like my arm hair or something like that. I'm doing it because I like to show off my tattoos. Not because I think that there's a problem with hair. I keep my junk clean just because it looks much bigger without all the hair, right? <laughs> That's a life hack, yo. So if you don't know it, you know it. And I prefer a girl to shave because who wants to eat fucking food with hair in that shit, right? <laughs> If you go to uh, some place, right, and you order a sandwich or a burger or whatever, you take a bite and there's a fucking hair in it, what do you do? Do you say, ah, oh, yeah, and just keep eating? No, you complain to the manager. So if you go down in a girl and there's hair, you take a bite and the hair in your mouth, whatever, call her manager, whoever it might be, and make a complaint, file it for real. Ask for a discount or maybe a two-for-one special in your following return. I don't know, right? <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm just an idiot. I'm just having fun, trying to make you guys laugh. Nothing, don't, if you take this shit too seriously, you shouldn't watch my channel. Uh, I'm not trying to offend anyone in particular, but I also don't worry about it. All right, we take the top off of this, maybe drop the temperature because it's probably hot as fuck in there, right? Excuse my French. <laughs> Oof. It was a little bit different colored in the middle, but you'll see like as I'm stirring this up and I pick this up, look at this. It's a beautiful wax, it comes off relatively smooth, so for sure it's melted. And this little metal thing right here is so that you can, you can take this off. By the way, my girl gave me a full instructional before doing this video. I didn't try it, but she explained how it worked and told me all about the different shit. 
So let's see. I have been waxed before my back, huh? But I had someone else do it. Obviously, I didn't do it. How would you do that? <laughs> right? Like taking off a shirt or something. It'd be hilarious. Anyway, so why don't we test it first? We're just going to do a small amount right here, right? I'm going to pick a spot. Oof. And I'm what I'm trying to do is test the heat level of the wax. Because if it's too hot, let me turn this down a bit. Because I don't want to burn myself just from the wax. And is it too hot? It's not that bad, huh? I mean... It's definitely not cold, <laughs> but it's okay. Now we can probably keep replacing this, but I imagine I just, uh, I'm gonna go through what's in there. And if I don't, then the only other person using this is my girl. It's not for commercial use. <laughs> so, and this is my first time using it. I don't know why I feel like I need to tell you guys that, right? <laughs> One time my girl sent me to the pharmacy to buy her, <laughs> to buy her birth control, right? Female birth control, a ring, you know, you put inside or whatever. <laughs> And I, like, I don't know why I do this sometimes. First of all, I don't get embarrassed about almost anything. So it's not because I got embarrassed. And by the way, you have to let this cool down a bit before you pull it. So that's why I'm lagging, not because necessarily I'm afraid, huh? <laughs> although I might be. Anyway, so I walk in, I say, hey, I need this, uh, this Ornabelle or whatever, this, this type of ring you put inside for birth control, whatever. And the guy goes and gets it and he, as he hands it to me, I don't understand why I look him in the eye and I'm like, it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I don't have a fucking vagina, right? So why did I say it's enough for me? But I felt like I had to explain it to him. Like, I know you work in pharmaceuticals. Biology, you probably don't know it. So let me explain something. It's not for me. <laughs> Anyways, let's see how horrible this is, right? So you're supposed to find a corner. And what I, oof, that doesn't even, oof, that already does not feel good, right? What I'm doing is trying to lift it enough because I need enough to go. Ah. And they say that you should pull it. I shouldn't pull it up. I should pull it like uh, as close to the skin as possible. At least that's what she said to get the most amount of hair off. All right, let's stop talking, ready? One. Okay, one, two, Ooh, it already hurts, huh? Three. Ah! Oh, I didn't even get this shit off, I only got the little part right. <laughs> this is a bad fucking idea. Can you put your hand in the boiling shit to get it off? But then that would hurt too, right? Ah, what I'm trying to do, <laughs> this shit fucking hurts, huh? Uh, how do you girls do this all over? Like legs, arms, underarms, cooter, ass, whatever. Like, <laughs> don't you walk away like you just left an MMA fight? <laughs> Anyways, ready? One, two, ah! I tried to trick myself. Did it before three, right? It's funny because I told myself I'm gonna do it before three. So I fucking knew, right? Who are you tricking? Who are you fooling? Oof. I'm gonna hit the joint. <laughs> I'm fucking high, but now I'm high and I'm in pain. It's not a good combo, huh? You guys should leave it in the comments. How many of you guys wax? Guy or girl, huh? Do you wax everything? How crazy are you? Anyway, one more time, huh? Ah! <laughs> First of all, I don't know how well you can see, it's doing, a, it's doing a good job. In this small fucking quarter size area, at this rate, we're gonna be done by tomorrow. <laughs> and the longer this takes, I just want all of the pain at once. I don't know how to do this to get like, a, oh, there, ah, ah, woo, woo. ah, fuck. It does not feel good. For those of you who are confused by the sounds I made, <laughs> these are not uh, cries of joy. <laughs> Oof, we still have a little bit more here, huh? I should have brought the camera in. I wish the camera person was here right now, but they're not, right? So, ah, oof. So let me get up. I'll come closer to the camera, right? And look at the arm, huh? I don't know how well you could see. I'm kind of in front of the light a little bit. You can see, uh, in fact, there's a little blood right there. Oof, it's hot too, right? It's not hot from the wax. It's hot because your body is saying, hey, stupid, this shit is not a good idea. At least that's what I think it's telling me. Let's go again, right? Because anyways, if we're going to do... I'm, I don't think I'm going to do both arms uh, in this video. That's going to take way too long, right? So let's just do like the forearm. <laughs> but I'm going to have to kick it up faster because I'm wasting too much time. Plus, I think... Oof, this shit is pretty hot, huh? The wax. Maybe I should turn it down a bit. I don't know what setting it's supposed to be at, right? And my girl's not here to ask her. <laughs> so what am I going to do? Anyway, so... I'm going to keep going. I think there's probably no reason why you couldn't put like more wax on, right? Fuck, I should be playing the Karate Kid in the background, right? Wax on, wax off! Daniel-san! Anyway, so, uh, who likes the Karate Kid? 
Ugh. Oof. All right. Oof. My whole arm feels like I have sunburn. This shit is hot as fuck, yo. <laughs> this is a dumb idea. You know, it's funny. I told her, I said, hey, when the channel hits 10,000 subscribers, if these guys want, I'll go get my balls waxed at a salon. That's how much I want this channel to grow. <laughs> and now that I'm saying in the video, I have to hold myself to it when we hit 10,000. But luckily, it's not for a while. So maybe I can mentally prepare myself. I'll get some THC salve. I'll get high as fuck. I don't even know what will help, right? Because this sucks and it's just your arm, huh? I assume the other is way, way worse. Let's hit the joint. I, I'm trying not to get too, too high because if I get too, too high, right? Like 20 too high, too, too high. Uh, I might forget something or forget I'm doing the video or, <laughs> or not finish the video. <laughs> you know what happens, right? Uh. All right. It's funny, right? It feels like armor. <laughs> I could go into fucking battle right now, right? MMA. What? Is he wearing armor? It's wax. Anyway, so we're going to find another spot, right? Oof. This fucking sucks. What a dumb idea. She's like, babe, I know what you can do. I thought she fucking loved me, right? <laughs> what a liar. Anyway, so. Ah! Again, it's for what it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You experts. And this is blood, guys. What the fuck? Why am I bleeding? I didn't even know that's part of it. Ah. I know why that piece came off by itself because it wasn't really connected to this. Is it, am I not putting it on enough? Ah! Ah! Ooh. Oh, the best part about the piece I just took off because I'm going like this, maybe I'm not going against the grain, is fucking the hair didn't come off. <laughs> Can you imagine you're getting all the pain with none of the benefits? Some of you are like, yeah, that's what marriage is like. <laughs> anyway, so... Let's take the bottom. Oof. I'm going to leave the trash can open. I'm going to try to speed through some of it. My arm is bleeding in many places. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oof. And it looks like the fucking hair is still there, right? What, what the fuck? Ah. What happens if there's still shit? Like if you give up, right? You're in the waxing salon. You have the wax on wherever you have it. And you're like, no. They did the first one. You're bleeding. You're crying, you're like, what's going on? And they're like, no, don't worry, it'll be better the second time. Fuck you. You're asking how I know that is because I told you I did my back. I finished the wax, right? And my back, it feels like I have a major sunburn, right? That I, like I was beaten for like skipping class or something when I was 12 years old. Whatever, it did not feel good. And the girl, you know, snickering, she's like... <laughs> Why are you fucking laughing? Why do they like their job so much, right? What kind of fucking uh, masochist are they? Anyway, so they uh, snickering and they're like, well, when you come back the second time, it fucking, it hurts a lot less, right? Isn't this the shit you tell a girl after you have sex with her anally, right? You're like, Psh, second time, way easier. You've been waxed, right? You know, the first time's tough. Second time, like a walk in the park, right? We just got to get to time number two. Anyway, so, ah! Whoo, oof, look at this. I'll show you. There's hair on this bad boy. Oof, right? Like a baby chinchilla. So, you guys want to adopt me? I'm up for adoption. Anyway, so, ah! Maybe if I put, ah, like a, ah! I don't even know, right? But maybe if I put, like, a lot of wax, I could do, like, a, like a big strip or something. I wish there was somebody that I could ask, an expert. I wish I was doing this shit live and you guys were watching and while you're laughing at my bad choices in life, one of the things is you're like, oh, you should try this or you should do this. I could get an expert's help, but I'm, I'm flying blind, guys. Ooh, ooh, ah, I'm just trying to pick up a spot and it has to be for the, ah! <laughs> this shit is horrible. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't know how well you can see, huh? But there is, there's leftover wax, like in little places. This shit is not as good as this. This for sure was better, more successful than this. What's going to be amazing <laughs> is when I finish this video, like I said, I'm going to try to do here to here. When I finish the video, I still have this to do. It'll be funny that I just say, fuck it, and I don't do it. <laughs> just walking around, you know. I guess it's not like one arm shorter or longer than the other, but I'll just be walking around like one arm flossing the hair, the other one 
innocent, pure, like the days of ancient Egypt. Anyway, so this is not fun, guys. If you've never done it before, it's, I don't recommend it, right? Ooh, uh, God, this is hot. How, what? Ah! <laughs> Maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe I have it too hot, huh? Ooh. Oh, <sighs> Ooh. okay, I keep turning it down. I don't know how long I need to wait. Maybe I need to wait. You guys know I don't have patience, right? I wasn't bored with it. Some people are bored with it, right? Probably in the baby, uh, in the machine that makes babies, right? And they're selecting all the things like, oh, make them funny sometimes. Check, right? And then say, okay, give them a gigantic penis. Check, whatever. And then they said, make them go bald early in life. Check. I don't even remember what I was fucking saying, to be honest. <laughs> this shit is so hot. <sighs> I'm going to have like third degree burns by the time this video is over. But if you guys like it, it was worth it. <laughs> All right. What other stupid shit should I do while high in this channel, right? Do you have suggestions? Put them in the bottom, huh? Oof. I'm, I, I feel like I'm sweating pretty bad, huh? <laughs> Oof, that fucking sucks. Uh, but I noticed there's bumps everywhere, like uh, almost like goosebumps. But this shit is not goosebumpy, you know what I mean? It's not like one of those things where someone's like slowly bringing their, bringing their arm, you feel it like tickling your hair, so you're like, ooh. Well, whatever you do, I don't know what you do. I'm not saying I do that, but if I did, that's what I did. So I see these goosebumps, but it's not fucking it because it's goosebumpy. And uh, anyways, let me show you and then let's just keep moving. I feel like I'm talking too much because I'm procrastinating. So, how well can you see this, right? I don't know. Also, because of the, the light, I don't know if you can see, but there's like little. Da, 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 da. Anyway, so ah, that didn't feel like anything. Oh, okay, that wasn't that bad. Ah, oof. Ah, I think what the, 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 the secret so far, ah, and I'm pulling this the wrong direction, but there's almost nothing there, so I feel like I just, who cares? It's not gonna get anything, right? I think of the secret so far of what I've learned, number one, is uh, pay someone to do this because I don't even know exactly where I should re-go over it. And for sure, I'm probably not doing this as good as you're supposed to do it. <laughs> but what I learned from the last one is put more, right? If you put more, it's easier to pull and then it gets more of the hair off, right? So let's do that. Let's put a bunch. Oof, this shit is hot, huh? But it's a little bit less hot than it just was. So I'm going to put a bunch of hair right there. Hair. I'm going to put a bunch of wax, right? Oof. So for those of you just joining in, like this shit is live, right? Uh, I don't recommend this at all. Uh, if you could avoid waxing, uh, do that. It's not fun. It doesn't feel nice, right? It's not like someone gets waxed and they compare it to like a blowjob or something, right? That's, that would never even show up in a comparison. All right. So my armor, right, is complete. <laughs> Look at this, I have wax everywhere. My arm, not as on fire as it was before, because clearly turning it down was a good idea. But <laughs> there, there's wax, like, I have like little baby wax strands. Like, it's almost like, what is it called when you do this shit? Uh, puppeteering, right? It's almost like I'm controlling puppets. There are so many little pieces of what the, so maybe, <laughs> maybe doing as much as I did right now, maybe it wasn't a good idea, right? Let's see what we could do, huh? Oof, oof. This is not gonna... <sighs> this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> ah! 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 What if, it's almost like it's Twix, right? But it probably doesn't taste like Twix, right? I'm gonna just try to take this wax right here. What are you doing? Get the fuck, fuck. <sighs> All right, so. Did we do? Okay. It looks like that actually got hair off, so that's a good sign. Let's try right here. Ah! Oh, I'm not doing this shit for you guys again, except the 10,000 viewers, right? Or subscribers. Okay, I will do it because I said so, but this is a bad idea. Ah! Ah! ah. You know, normally, I love my girl, normally. Anyway, ah, 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 oh. ah, ah. She waxes, right? And uh, by the way, she never makes it look this. 
<laughs> this is difficult. This is further proof, right? Women are stronger than men. All the macho guys are like, ah, women are not strong. You guys are fucking idiots. What happens when we get sick, right? I'm down. I need 12 people to look after me. Call, call the president. I'm not going to make it, right? It's a sneeze, a cough. I'm dead. This girl could be on her deathbed, right? She can't walk. She's lost her voice. One of her legs is gone out, right? Uh, her her muscle uh, and her other arm is atrophied. And she's walking around like, what can I get you, honey? What kind of shit is that? Where are women actually derived from? It's not the same place as men because we're fucking pussies, huh? The girl, when she gets this done, she's just like this. What else you got, right? It's almost like she wants another part of the body to like be like, can you do there too? Okay. Okay. Oof. Mm, I don't know if I should pull you because this part seems... Like it could be a bit harder. And maybe that's that's another thing, right? There's even like miscellaneous errors. Probably what's gonna happen is I'm gonna do this to the best of my ability. I'll still hit it with a razor because I think there's a few spots that are gonna be left. Ugh, I for sure did not smoke enough weed. I thought a couple joints would be enough. I think uh, I'd, I for sure needed an edible. <sighs> Ready? <laughs> Oof, this was a bad sign. This lifted without really touching, pulling anything. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, oh. I was looking at this. There's orange in the tattoo. I thought that was a new color of blood. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing to myself, right? Uh, whew, all right. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to do a couple strips, see what happens, right? All right, all right. Another thought, right, while we're at it, not like, I'm not really wearing shorts these days, it's winter. I'm just going to do a little part on my leg out of curiosity. I wonder how bad it hurts, right? At this point, I have an idea how bad the arm is. Let's see, is the leg worse or better, right? Inquiring minds. Oof. I'm not going to do my leg. <laughs> so if you see me in the next few weeks, you could ask to see my left knee. It, my legs will have hair, and it will just be like one little strip. But this is, could be the place where, like, I put a barcode, and this is how you could find out more info. <laughs> All right, that's not funny, but I'm high. I'm sweating my ass off. I'm covered in fucking wax. What am I doing? <sighs> you know, I make some questionable choices sometimes. <laughs> oh, I hate this shit. All right. Ah, hold on. Ah, come on, baby. Oof, ah, oof, ah. ah. It feels good when you blow on it, though, right? The hot air doesn't feel good, though. All right, so again, huh? fuck. Ah! Okay. Hey, we have pretty good right here, huh? Psh, but I noticed there's hair here. It doesn't look that heavy, but there is. So let's try. I think we go down, right? How's the hair going? I can't really see, but I think we go in this direction. So we need to find something to grab to. There we go. As I punch myself, it would be amazing if I knocked myself out while I'm waxing myself on camera for you. <laughs> I don't think I've done anything that stupid in my life, but it could happen. Ah! And I don't even know if that took a lot of hair off, right? That's pretty cool. Damn it. All right. We're going to say a couple more. We'll call it because I think I'm more or less... Close, right? Oh, we didn't do the leg. We'll do it in a second. I wonder how long it's going to take to clean all this fucking wash. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. You know when you're high? Uh, the cleaning is not usually the most desirable fucking thing to do when stoned, right? You want to watch TV, watch a movie, maybe paint, uh, listen to some music, right? Chill out, have sex, right? Who the fuck wants to clean? <laughs> Today has been all in all a great day. And then we'll call it, right guys? I'm sure at this point, how many people even tuned in this far? You laughed, you said, what a fucking idiot, and then you went off, right? If you uh, tuned in this long, leave in the comments. Say, I made it. Just put that. And just by putting, I made it, I know you made it towards the end. And I will feel better about the pain that I went through for this dumbass idea. <laughs> Thanks, darling. <laughs> Anyways, oof. Before we do this, let's do the the, 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 the knee, right? All right, ready, set. Ah, ooh, ah. The leg is not as bad. Ah. I could I, I could handle this, but why? I don't need it, right? I don't shave my legs in the summer for my tattoos because 
it's not that I'm you couldn't see them. I mean, there's certain tattoos you can't see because they're pretty close that I don't wear like uh, speedos. So if I did, then you could see like I have tattoos that go like this one goes all the way up to here. Then I have a shark that goes like this. You guys, I show you like boom. I don't know if you could see it, but if you could, there you go. Look at this, dude. I'm just fucking hanging wax from all of my body. Amazing. Anyways, there is, my girl is going to be very happy about the wax, but this, I will just tell her, listen, you brought this shit on yourself. <laughs> ah! Ah! Woo! I don't know if screaming or complaining helps, um, but I feel like it might, right? I don't know if I would be a good customer for waxing. <laughs> it would sound like they're killing a small seal or something, right? I don't know what kind of noises I'll make. But anyways, we hit 10,000 subscribers. You guys are going to find out. We'll blur out my junk and stuff like that. That doesn't sound as fun, but we will. And if we hit the 10,000 subscribers, you'll have the option to watch that video. Oof. In all its uh, miserable ah, glory. It right now, this sucks to take it off the wax like this because it doesn't take really any hair but it still doesn't feel good. <laughs> oh. A scale of one to 10, what is this, right? The thing is, it just, the, the, the pain is initially, it just boom, right? But then it comes down pretty quick. So it's just like, ah, damn it. Ah, ah. Oh, that's so awesome. Barely any hair came off. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if you guys watched that too show Jerry Springer. It's absolute trash, right? And uh, I don't recommend you do it if you don't know what it is. But if you do know what it is, he usually ends his shows with like, I have a final thought. I haven't seen this shit in so many years. I think it may still exist. I don't know. But if you ever want to feel better about your life choices, like uh, waxing yourself on YouTube, watch Jerry Springer. It, it, for sure, it's worse, right? <laughs> the absolute scum of the earth is on that show. Anyways, he ends up with some final thoughts, and I'm going to give you my th final thoughts on waxing, right? All right. Waxing. Don't fucking do it, huh? <laughs> it's horrible. I suppose the benefit is I won't have to shave off this arm, which I will, though, because in the end, I did this myself. <coughs> Excuse me. Here... I mean, it's relatively smooth right here, but there's some hairs, and maybe you're you're supposed to pluck them. I don't even know the rules, right? I didn't I didn't take any classes. I'm not certified. I don't know if you're supposed to be certified for this shit, right? What kind of class do you go to? Like, I want to inflict inflict pain on people's life. What kind of career do you have for me, sir? And the guy thinks for a second. He's like, you know what? You could be a, a parking. A meter maid, right? Someone who gives tickets to people who double park. That may fulfill you. And then um, the guy's like, nah, nah, I don't want to do that. He says, you know what? Um, maybe you could remove people's hair. As they cry in pain, just tell them, don't worry, it's going to be over soon. And then just be like, hey, if you come two, three, four hundred times, you don't even feel it then, right? Fuck off. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. You found it funny. At my expense, <laughs> as far as finding it useful, you probably won't. But anyways, if you liked it, please like, share. Share the video with your friends, guys. It would mean the world to me. Until next time, I'm out. <laughs>